It's time to check in with Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. I, I don't know if you caught it in the news. You've got a new unofficial bird for the uh, city of Burlington. It's we do. A trumpeter swan, yeah. which is so appropriate. We, uh, we, you know, we have a group of people here that brought them back from near extinction in Burlington down at LaSalle Park. Yes, so. I often, I, I'd be at LaSalle Park often and would see them there. They are awesome. Yeah, quite spectacular. Yeah. But hey, don't feed them. Don't feed the birds. No. <laughs> that is, uh, people think that bread is good for them. It really isn't at all. Uh, but there are, there is a trumpeter swan group here in Burlington that uh, uses corn to tag them. You'll see the tag there. Right. right. Uh, so they, they're quite capable of uh, feeding themselves. So please don't do that. It's really damaging for them. Yeah, just enjoy viewing them. Watch and take pictures. Right, like that. <laughs> okay, lots of city business yesterday. Masking and physical uh, distancing, distancing bylaws uh, are, are now gone. Uh, the vote is complete. We voted yesterday at City Council uh, to lift both. Uh, so for our physical distancing bylaw, you know, hugs are back. That, that's right. awesome. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for masking, it was a uh, it was not unanimous, and it's not unanimous in the community. And I, no. I really understand folks who feel that it's too soon to lift masks. The encouragement from public health is still to wear them. Uh, in my view, it has just become next to uh, impossible to enforce. And it places a really big burden on our frontline workers who've already been through so much uh, through the last two years. So, uh, so that's why I uh, voted to lift it. And uh, but you know, a lot of people. I was out yesterday. A lot of people are still voluntarily wearing masks. And uh, bring a mask with you uh, because right. you still have to wear it by provincial and federal regulations in cer certain circumstances. So yeah, like transit, long term, -term care, care. If you've yeah. been out outside the country, all of that. So uh, always best to have one with you. Yeah, but we're certainly going to be seeing them uh, for some time to come as we phase into Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, this uh, until, you know, as we roll into an uh, endemic. But, uh, you know, I was commenting yesterday, uh, yesterday, I was looking forward to going into a store and peeling off the mask, but everybody was still wearing masks, so I kept <laughs> mine on. Just... That, that is good, <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. still the best way to protect you know, one of the best ways in addition to getting vaccinated. And so please continue to do that and uh, and be respectful. The most important thing we can do is be respectful to people around us uh, for their choice on masking. Absolutely. And if you see some, somebody with one, uh, respect that. Yeah. Uh, mayoral candidate Ann Marsden posed a question about scooter plug-in availability. Uh, the city is actually looking for feedback on uh, the electric mobility strategy. Yeah, we have many constituents uh, in Burlington who are uh, really interested in our electric strategy. So we, it's part of our climate action plan to increase the ability to have uh, plug-in vehicles, uh, plug-in scooters. And so there is a survey, getinvolvedburlington.ca. Uh, check it out. I took it this morning, uh, and it asks things like we're trying to find out how many people have, have electric uh, mobility devices, whether that's a scooter or a, a vehicle. Um, that, uh, you know, what prevents you, would you get one or not, and then what we can do at the city. And this is a partnership with Burlington Green, our local environmental group, which is uh, terrific. So we're working with our residents uh, that way to make sure that we gather all the information that we can and then build a plan for uh, certainly electric scooters are part of that uh, and having plug-in capability, but electric vehicles are a huge part of that because Burlington has a higher than normal uh, car ownership and use uh, statistically. And mm -hmm. so we really need to switch people to electric vehicles if we're going to combat emissions from vehicles because people aren't giving their, up their cars uh, here. And so we need to make sure they're cleaner. Yep. And of course, a lot of electric vehicles are on the way. So we have to accommodate that Absolutely. infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, Burlington yeah. getting ready for the uh, municipal election. And so the city has launched a new dedicated website. Can you tell us about that? Everything you want to know about elections, so uh, what the roles are, what the votes are, what the dates, the key dates. So there's a couple of key dates coming up. Uh, May 2nd is the first day that candidates can register for uh, mayor, councillor, regional chair, and school trustee. You get to vote for all four in this election, and then it tells you about internet voting and what the uh, advanced voting days are. So it, it, there's a whole lot of information, and more will be added as we get closer to uh, the actual election campaign period. 
Okay, we'll link the city's website at chch.com so awesome. viewers can check that out.